Okay, Ben, so question of the week, the day? Yeah, sure. What's Blast Hit Dog? Me. What is Blast Dog? Possibly a better question to answer is why Blast Dog? So Blast Dog was developed in response to some of the complexity that miners are facing today. So there's a lot of headwinds that our industry is facing in terms of all bodies are getting harder to find, all bodies are getting more complex, more challenging to mine. Society is demanding more metal from us, but at the same time, we have to be more efficient and more responsible in the way that we go about extracting these resources. And on top of all of that, we've got skills shortages. Less people are coming into mining, uh, less time in the day um, to really make a difference. And so where Blastog is here to help is around providing miners with confidence and with the right data at the right time to, to make informed decisions about how they mine their ore body. Blastog is, is a system. Uh, and so you'll see the little guy on the, the screen here, that's where Blastog begins. Uh, and so that is our acquisition unit. So we use robotics to move across the blast bench uh, moving from hole to hole, uh, deploying a multi-sensor probe that Index has developed, um, which incorporates some really cool technology, uh, various geophysical sensors, but also various um, measurement sensors as well to measure the rock properties down the borehole and also the physical properties mm. of the borehole. She's obviously um, building on Index's history in that space, right? That's yes. what Index is known for. That's right, Index has got a, a very extensive history in exploration, uh, in downhole tools, downhole intelligence, mm -hmm. in exploration. And that's where Blastog has come about in a, applying that experience, applying that technology and building on that uh, and providing industry with an all body knowledge solution in a more tactical sense. A key piece of the technology is the probe that Index has developed. So it's got three geophysical sensors on there. So we measure for gamma, conductivity, and magnetic susceptibility. So three sensors that in isolation can tell miners a lot about their uh, ore body, but also in combination can be a very uh, powerful way to better understand the ore body. Mm -hmm. And blast holes actually provide a great opportunity to have three holes drilled. We all know that exploration holes and uh, grade control and development holes cost a lot of money to drill. Um, but drill holes, the beauty of it is they're already there for a different purpose. Mm. And so we take advantage of that with Blastog um, to put a probe down that hole, seven primary sensors uh, that uh, capture a lot of data in a single pass at speed, uh, which then uploads that data to the cloud. So what's really powerful about Blastog is the data platform. So what we call the index hub or the index mining hub is where our data is hosted and where our clients can interface with that data, the analytics that we run over the data, um, be it single sensor data um, or things like surfaces or even advanced sort of 3D models around lith lithology models, block models, blast stability models, this kind of thing, whatever our customers need to better inform the decision-making uh, process for them. I got a question for you, Reese. actually, like something we get asked by customers a lot is, where they are familiar with, say, more traditional logging solutions, something that I get asked is, well, how is Blastog different or why is Blastog better? Yeah, sure. So you touched on it earlier. We've got a, an advanced probe solution, mm. multiple technology or multiple yeah, technology stacked one on top of the other. Mm. We have a probe that's designed specifically for a blast, uh, blast bench application. So rather than an exploration probe, which is typically long and skinny, We've designed our probe a lot shorter, mm. logged the full uh, full depth of the drill hole, the blast hole. Um, and as we mentioned, with that multiple technologies, you get several data sets in a single pass, mm. which combined with the advanced systems that we use to deploy, allow us to get a far greater level of productivity than you'd see with traditional logging methods. Sure. So we can log far more of the holes, far more of the bench mm. in far shorter time. Yeah, sure. And you add that now, the amount of holes that we get through in a day, combined with the various different data sets, it's a, a, a breadth and depth of knowledge that you just don't get. Um, we, and you can add to that that in, in that process, we're also doing it 
um, without holding up the next levels of production. Of course, production being king, mm. if you can do all this, it's great. But if that takes you a day to deliver, holding back the one thing that we're there for in the first place, right? And so we do it timely with near, near real-time data processed into the hub that we've spoken about before and delivered back to the operational staff to make decisions, which ultimately is what data is there for, right? It's data's, data for data purposes isn't, isn't anything. It's not valuable, valuable, but data for the purpose of great decision-making and great information sets, that's, that's what, we're, what we're interested in. Good. All right, Ben, so the other question that we get asked a lot, yeah. how's Glassdog being used today? Good question. Um, we're in a couple of geographies across several commodities. We've been working with Blastdog in both Australia and Chile, uh, working in porphyry copper and also in coal in the Bowen Basin in Queensland uh, and also iron ore in the Pilbara. Um, mm. So we've been applying Blastdog to various problems that our customers are having and frankly each each problem is a little bit different, but what is similar is the power of Blastdog and the power of the data that we create and the information that it translates into that supports the decisions that our customers are getting made. So be it uh, lump fine performance in the Pilbara or uh, picking accurate surfaces in coal or waste delineation, like identifying accurate contacts um, has been really important to our customers. So ultimately, they're getting the most out of their ore body, maximizing production, minimizing waste, and ultimately maximizing the value of the ore body. So Blastog has big benefits in material characterization, understanding the rocks, if you like, ore body knowledge is what we like to call it an index, but also Blastog has uh, other applications. Um, can you tell me about how we're using it in the blasting space? Sure, so we've spoken a lot about you know, the geological sensing side of blast dog, but at the same time, we're also logging the conditions of a blast hole. So we're logging diameter um, in the applications of coal, you often see water level um, throughout the whole length of the hole. So when you add that to the understanding of not only where your ore, or in the case of coal, your coal asset is, coal seam, you're also being able to see the materials above and surrounding the actual asset that you're trying to look for. And then at the third part, understanding the hole itself, you can better plan your blast loading rules and optimize the way that you're releasing your asset from the ground. If you've designed your blast well, you're not over-energizing your blast and leading to things like fly rock, etc. So you can eliminate that as a safety hazard from your, from your operations. But you're also managing to achieve things like better fragmentation, at least more predictable fragmentation, which of course has productivity gains downstream of the bench in terms of your load and haul, and then into your milling processes. Right. So we're pretty proud of our eight arm caliper. It's quite mm. unique for, for probes. Um, get into that a bit more about some of the applications we've seen customers using that. For. Yeah, sure. Um, you touched on earlier about understanding the borehole um, and a big application that we've been using on some mines is around understanding the diameter, the actual diameter compared to the as design diameter. Um, the ground doesn't behave as we always like it to. Um, but a, another big problem that we have seen in weathered zones or sort of areas um, of, of weak rock is cavities and potential voids and things like that that sit just, ben just beneath the surface um, actually present a pretty big safety risk. Um, so in the geotechnical space and also operational safety, um, we're using our caliper to understand uh, what's under the ground and essentially what's not what's under the, not, what's not yeah. under the ground. Um, and so our caliper uh, is able to tell us where we're getting um, potential blowouts or voids. And as we look across the blast pattern, um, because of the intelligence that's in our caliper, we actually know which way it's rotating. Um, so we can actually uh, infer between blast holes where voids might actually be connecting. Mm. Um, and that actually presents an enormous safety risk for operators on the bench. 
Uh, and so what Blastog is capable of doing is identifying those high-risk areas and then informing uh, the operations team on the ground or informing the HSE team or the geotechnical guys to say, look, this is a problem. You, you might want to think about how you might mine differently in these areas or actually what you might do with personnel on the bench. Speaking of safety, something that gets a lot of attention with Blastog uh, is the robotics platform. Um, can you tell me a bit about that? Obviously, the Blastog machine itself gets a lot of interest, as you said. Uh, we recognised that as far as uh, high-risk areas of operation go, the bench is one of those. Following trends, you know, and the, the, the drills themselves are all moving towards autonomous solutions. Uh, we didn't want to be excluded from the fun. So we developed a mobile platform to take our probe around the bench while keeping people removed from that area. Boots off bench uh, buzz phrase that we use regularly. Um, adding to that, you're capitalizing on productivity gains while keeping the operation as safe as possible and looking you know, future uh, and future forward, moving towards long-term fully autonomous solutions and a zero entry mine. I noticed there are several other providers entering the space around all body knowledge for mining. How does Blastog technology sort of compare uh, to some of the other technologies out there? It's an important question because, you know, like you say, there's a number of different ways that people are trying to solve the problems that we're solving. Mm. Uh, one of the key ones that we see a lot, hyperspectral imaging, um, seems to be a reasonable way to try and approach this solution. But what we offer that's different is when you look at hyperspectral, they tend to be looking at a, at a face and giving you a 2D image of what they think or, or what they can see. And then everything beyond that is an extrapolation. It's a, well, this is what we think based on what we know. When you look at the blast dog solution, we can really, using the blast holes, we're really being able to produce accurate three-dimensional modeling of what's going on in the ground based on the solution and the sensors that are deployed across the bench. Rather than looking at one face and then assuming, we actually know from the face all the way through the bench. Okay, so, so to wrap it up, look, we know it's a complex problem and a really advanced solution. Mm. So how does Blastog best service customers in ability to solve these problems? Mm, sure. In any decision making, I, I think it's about confidence. And so w with our Blastog solution, it's important for us to understand customers' problems and really engage on that. We're not a, a one-stop shop or a one-size-fits-all. Uh, and there is an element of tailoring the Blast Dog solution based on specific client issues. So uh, the, the model that we employ is to really engage deeply with clients initially. Uh, often we'll run trials um, to understand those problems. Um, what we like to refer to as sort of a friction-free trial where we're deployed to site for a month, two months, sometimes up to three months to really understand what challenges site is facing and those big problems that they're trying to solve using Blastog uh, and then we can take it away and tailor something that will ultimately work for a customer in the long term. We're saying best way to engage us really, give us a call and start those conversations. Yeah, absolutely.